What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm gonna be doing an update on MMTLP and Finno Saga. And on today's video, I will show you pretty much the part 2 of my yesterday's video. I have even more evidence that potentially at the very beginning of uh, December, when the U3 Health was implemented by FINRA, we had a short squeeze of MMTLP shares. And for now, I have even more evidence of this. And guys, the price of MMTLP shares was mind-boggling. And definitely, if all the orders uh, were executed, all of the MMTLP shareholders would have been uh, millionaires. And I have no doubts about it. And at the end of this video, I will share my personal story. And guys, uh, for now, I still have uh, some health issues. That is why please watch this video till the very end, because it is very important for me personally. So, and before we dive deep into all of this, please hit the like button for YouTube algorithm. It is the easiest way how we can push uh, this uh, case forward to the broader audience. And eventually it will lead us uh, to the resolution. So, and let's start with the news. In response to my yesterday's video, uh, Timeless team wrote a couple of tweets and let's start one by one. As you can see, uh, he wrote it uh, in response to the uh, tweet that was uh, made uh, by RareDD and I showed you this tweet uh, yesterday. Uh, wait a second. Uh, I guess it was somewhere here. It doesn't matter for now. Let me quote you this tweet. Count me in as another poster child example of E-Trade too late to cancel order shenanigans. This is real, not AI. Yes, why would anyone purchase uh, my one sell order for 200 million dollars unless someone was very 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 short and needed my 1000 shares to hide their huge problem. I also wondered about uh, the new founding routes Fidelity had opened uh, suspiciously that were reported opened that Friday. E-Trade probably had to do the same, which uh, may have helped uh, them on purchasing many large sell orders like this uh, that uh, were over Fidelity's limitations. Retail new FINRA flu. And guys, let me show you this screenshot. As you can see, here is the order that was also too late to cancel and the price uh, of MMTLP shares uh, was $200,000 and uh, the order was uh, for 1,000 uh, shares and it was uh, uh, made on uh, December 11th and guys let me show you I guess I have uh, the same uh, numbers but uh, with the best quality Yes, here it is. It is $200,000 for 1,000 shares. And guys, some of you might uh, think that uh, these orders uh, was cancelled or rejected, uh, but uh, this status uh, means that uh, these orders, let me show you this, uh, the order has already been executed or is in the process of executing. And uh, let me show you that uh, right here you can see another order for 1000 MMTLP shares that was made also on December 11th. And uh, the price of uh, the shares, the price of this order uh, was $150,000. And uh, as you can see, market rejected this order. This means this order wasn't executed. But the status is uh, that uh, leads us to the conclusion that uh, these orders were executed. And guys, I still think uh, that uh, uh, we had a short squeeze uh, right after the U3 halt. Uh, and we know that uh, all of the positions should be closed according to FINRA's uh, corporate action. It should be closed uh, till the end of uh, December the 12th. And uh, definitely. If these orders were executed, I have just one question. Where is the money? Where is the money for these uh, orders? And let me show you the second tweet uh, of uh, Timeless Team. He wrote this just four hours ago. If this helps uh, for further research, as uh, it still uh, bugged me, I found uh, the link to the Fidelity found code explanations shown on uh, the December 22nd post below. A long page, so I summarized them in the pic attached. 
I could not find it red route codes uh, uh, like this, but saw a link uh, to a quarterly order routing report that contains December 2022 routing info. Not sure if uh, that uh, has already been found and analyzed yet for any pertinent clues uh, by the team. I received a question, why would my $200 million order be bought and not other much smaller orders like $1,500 or $500, etc. I wondered myself and I thought knowing the cause for it rate might be a link as to why. Perhaps uh, it was due to how and when each order was routed. Some route codes or reasons for fidelity seem to be set for larger orders than other codes. Not sure of the route codes it rate used. No expert on routing code psychology here, but others surely are. Thanks. And here's two links uh, to these documents. And let me show you uh, these screenshots. As you can see, uh, Timeless Team uh, refers to the tweet that was uh, made by Cplant back uh, in uh, December the 9th of uh, 2022. And here you can see the route. And the route for Fidelity was... Uh, uh, basically several options FDLM, IEX, TV05, TV10, TV20 and VWAP and uh, here is uh, the explanation of uh, these uh, route codes and guys uh, if you use uh, auto routing you will uh, receive uh, the best uh, possible way for the execution but definitely it is not the best possible way for the market makers and why it is so important. You know that uh, just uh, yesterday I explained you uh, in uh, my previous uh, video that almost all of uh, the broker dealers, they work uh, through the payments for order flow. And let me show you what does it mean. This is the example of payment for order flow. And uh, I just want to uh, uh, read a couple of uh, paragraphs. Uh, placing the order. You put uh, in a buy order for 100 shares of uh, Technocorp uh, through XYZ brokerage trading platform. Routing the order. Number two. Uh, instead of uh, sending the order directly to a stock exchange, XYZ brokerage routes uh, the orders to a third party market maker, Alpha Market Makers, from which it will get a payment for order flow. And this is the crucial part. Uh, I explained to you yesterday that uh, we have uh, some kind of middleman in between broker dealer and the clearing firm. And uh, because of uh, this uh, company, because of this middleman, we have an option uh, to trade uh, without any fees. For example, like Robinhood. And uh, definitely, this payment for order flow on the one hand is quite a good invention. But on the other hand, uh, it is the worst invention ever. Because it gives a lot of uh, options uh, for the wrongdoers to use uh, this money and to use uh, uh, this activity in their favor. And uh, here is uh, the evidence of, for this. Uh, as you can see, we have uh, we basically uh, have a lot of evidence from uh, E-Trade uh, of the extreme of extremely high uh, prices uh, for MTLP shares. And uh, these prices, uh, let me show you. These prices was from. Uh, just uh, $13 all the way up to $200,000. And definitely, it is uh, nothing else but a manipulation. And this manipulation should be investigated. And let me show you what did uh, uh, Rare DD write in response to this uh, tweet. He said, 1,000 shares of MMTLP for $200,000 each. Among a number of similar high prices, these GTC orders were too late to cancel on the E-Trade platform but FINRA didn't allow the orders to clear. The halt was to protect those that held short positions in MMTLP. These transactions took place uh, on uh, December the 12th. If MMTLP was halted on December the 9th and uh, the messaging from E-Trade was uh, that forced by INS were likely to occur leading up uh, to December the 12th, doesn't look like these were short positions uh, being forced to buy in. And uh, yes, uh, I think uh, this is nothing else uh, but the coverage of uh, their short position. On top of that, uh, RareDD published uh, this screenshot uh, to his post. And let me quote to this. It is uh, just uh, two letters uh, uh, of conversation uh, in between uh, the uh, E-Trade customer and the E-Trade itself. And let me quote to this. Uh, the question is... Uh, 
What will be the status of investors who currently hold a short position of MMTLP? As I understand, there is no option for holding short position of uh, shares of a private company. Will it rate force closure of uh, short positions held by investors who refuse or otherwise do not close their positions? And it rate uh, answered. To be short a stock, uh, there has to be shares to borrow. Most likely, as it get closer to the day of action, there will not uh, be shares to borrow. There is a regulation SHO rule that allows us uh, to buy in if there are not shares to borrow for shorts. We also will not allow shorting on most OTC securities. And this means, guys, uh, it right pretty much confirmed with this letter that uh, the shares uh, will be bought. Uh, and uh, as you can see, this uh, letter was written on December uh, the 3rd of 2022. And uh, they stated that uh, if uh, there is a lack of uh, shares to borrow, the short position uh, will be forced to close and it will be closed uh, by buying shares uh, on the free market. And guys, we know that uh, it wasn't any free market at all because uh, FINRA implemented a youth halt. But uh, because of this gibberish, uh, we have this extremely high levels, uh, extremely high levels of prices. And uh, definitely, I think uh, it is extremely important evidence uh, in our case because uh, this uh, data shows uh, that uh, we had a short squeeze at the very beginning of December. And guys, let me tell you my personal story. I have a wife and two children aged 11 and uh, 15, as well as a small dog. After 30 years of living in Russia near the Baikal Lake, we decided to move. Now we reside in Serbia. Although I don't own any MMTLP shares, I invest a lot of time creating daily MMTLP videos. I have been doing this every day without days off and holidays for more than one and a half years. Now I wish to buy back this time from my family, from my children. We've agreed that I will ask the MMTLP community to support me and I will give all the money to the children. Therefore, if you believe that I am providing useful content for you and uh, wish to support me, you can join my Patreon account. For $5 a month, I will add your name to my list of supporters if you wish. Thank you in advance. The link you can find in the description below. So, I think that's all information that I want to provide you. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye! I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack Baby, I'm bad, I just wanna get